using a torch is a fundamental skill necessary for making jewelry. Even if you're a metal clay artist, you need to know the basics of using some kind of torch. Hi, I'm Janet Alexander. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Easy Torch. The Easy Torch is a very simple, small torch and attaches to a very small container of propane, which you can buy at any sports outlet or camping supply store. Don't let this Easy Torch fool you. It delivers up to 2400 degrees of heat. That's hot enough to solder with, to melt metal for casting, and plenty of heat to center your pieces in metal clay. So let's get started. I'm anxious to show you this torch. The Easy Torch is so compact that it ships in a small box. Inside the box is the torch handle, the valve, the hose, and the three tips. All you need to assemble the torch are either two half inch wrenches or a half inch wrench and an adjustable wrench. Make a solution of some soapy water in a spray bottle so that you can check for leaks once you assemble it. And of course you're going to need your gas tank. Sometimes when you get the, the torch from the manufacturer, this screw could be loose and so it's good to go ahead and tighten it to make sure, see how this is loose, and that could cause some leaks or just some sloppiness in the handle. So I'm going to tighten this up, use my half inch wrench, hold the head, the torch, and tighten it. Attaching the head, I'm going to find the end of the hose that has the the swivel on it, which would be this one right here. And I'm going to screw this handle into the hose end. Now I'm going to tighten these two nuts using the wrench. I'm going to take one wrench and put it on the nut down here and the other wrench going the opposite way on the top nut on the handle. And then I'm going to swivel this and tighten it. If you connected it correctly, the torch handle should still swivel on the hose. This is the torch valve and the first thing I want to check is to make sure that these threads are clean and that the black gasket is in there securely. When you have a new torch sometimes that gasket is loose and so it needs to be pushed back down inside there. Uh, otherwise you could have some leaks. And I'm going to attach this end to this end here with the threads. And again, I'm just going to turn this clockwise until it threads on tightly. Now I'm going to tighten this nut with a wrench attached to here and another wrench attached right here. Pick up my wrench, hold that securely. Hold my wrench on this end and I just want to snug it up. Notice that the propane bottle has a cap on it. Uh, the cap is put there to keep debris from falling inside the top and to protect these threads. Now it's time to attach the hose to the bottle. I'm going to hold the bottle like so, attach my hose, and rotate the bottle until it screws onto the hose. At this time I'm going to go ahead and attach the small tip to the head of the handle. So I just screw this on until it's tight. Now you don't want to tighten this with a wrench. Just This can be just hand tightened. If you tighten it too much you'll never get it off to change out the tips. The gas travels up this handle and mixes with the atmosphere oxygen. By adjusting this knob right here I can either make the flame hotter are colder. The more oxygen and the larger these holes right here are, the hotter the flame. Now I need to check for leaks. I want to make sure there's no leak here at the hose end and here at the valve. I want to make sure that this nozzle is turned off this way towards my right shoulder to turn it snugly off. And now I'm going to turn on the gas 
and I shouldn't hear any gas leak. Now I'm going to take my soapy water and I'm just going to spritz it on these connections. If I see any bubbles coming out along here, I have a leak. Now I'm going to spray this one here and look for leaks there. Everything looks good. Okay, I want to show you guys what happens if there's a leak. Right now I've got this good and tight so it won't leak because I just tested it. But I'm going to unscrew this just a little bit so you can see what happens when there's a leak and you know what to look for. Now I should have a leak at this spot. So I'm going to make sure my nozzle is turned off and I'm going to turn on my gas. And now I'll spray this with soapy water and see how it's bubbling. Before I light the torch, I must cover some safety issues. First of all, I've got my hair tied back. I have a fire extinguisher handy. Of course, I don't usually have a fire extinguisher on my countertop. This is just for the film. Uh, but you do want to have one close by. Um, I have safety protection on the countertop so that I don't burn my countertop. And most importantly, I have tied my bottle so that it won't fall over when I use the torch. And then I don't have the bottle in the way of the torch. You want your bottle put away behind you so that you never aim the torch at the bottle. I'm going to turn this knob half a turn counterclockwise. To light the torch, I'm going to use my striker. I'm going to turn it upside down so that the gas is contained in this open cavity here. I'm going to turn my gas on and have it trapped in here so that when I strike it, it lights. Turn this on by turning the knob away from me. Simple. Now I'm going to adjust my flame by turning this knob here. Off. All I need to do is turn this knob off to reduce, reduce the oxygen and then turn my knob for my gas source off. Okay, now I'm going to put my torch away for the evening. You never want to leave your torch connected to the gas overnight. It could be a fire hazard. You could have a leak that you don't know about. So it's always good to put the torch away when you're not going to use it anymore. This is turned off. The gas is turned off at the can. And I just picked this up and I'm going to rotate the can away from me so that this unscrews. Now you'll hear a small pop when this happens, but that's okay. It's just not natural. So as I rotate the can, there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show on how to use the Easy Torch. Um, I think it's a fabulous little torch and I can take it anywhere on trips and use it for almost everything. Anyway, enjoy. See you next time.